all are doing well and are blessed. So I'm sitting in my car. I've been sitting here today. I've been sitting here for maybe 30 minutes wasting gas. And I'm parked outside a library. And I'm like, Joy, you got to go in. You have so much to do. You have so much to do. It's like I always have so much to do. I was just thinking that why is it that I feel like I'm always doing so bad in life? More financially, more financially. I'm like, I've sacrificed everything. I live in my car, which is really not bad. I'm, I promise you, it's not bad. The only thing that's bad at the moment is the heat, whereas I can sit, I can stay in this car all day and not leave. But the heat in the morning, at night, is fine. At night, it takes maybe, because I have fans and stuff back there, but it'll take maybe 10 minutes, maybe 15 for my body to adjust to a warmer temperature. You know, after the AC, blah, blah, blah. And I do shower at the gym every day. I didn't shower today. I have uh, things to wipe down, but I'll shower uh, when I go to the gym later today. So I just wipe down and stuff. Whatever. I'm not going anywhere. And so I didn't even put my eyelashes on today. But I put a, a little concealer, light, light, light foundation. I did my little eyebrows and eyeliner. So, but I'm like, Joy, why is it that you always do bad financially? I'm like, I don't know. And it's not like I go and splurge. I really don't. So splurging for me, honestly, is maybe spending, I could waste $150. And not maybe buying something for the classroom or buying a $7 dress. But I'm like, I work like heck. Why can't I treat myself to little tidbits of things? It's not like I'm going buying this $1,200 purse and all these shoes. My shoes are getting jacked up now. So I looked at the shoes I've been wearing. And I'm like, why is it that you're always, you know, doing bad? And Sydney even said, made me think. She's like, oh, it would be so sad, Mom. Isn't it sad? Aren't you, you know, that's depressing to live like that, you know, when checking account is low. But, baby, you understand car insurance, health insurance, because I have a whole family, um, car note, that'll eat up my entire check. We're not even talking about cell phone. That'll eat up an entire check. And so then some days I'm like, okay, what I'm going to eat, I guess it's going to be an apple and some chips. <laughs> you know, I'm not complaining at all. I'm not, I, I'm fine. And I promise you, like I said before, it is comfortable. I was so tired from working, working, working throughout the week and the energy that I give that I slept to 11. And it was the heat that woke me up. And then I say, why me? Why is it always me? No matter how much of a good person that I try to be and so much love that I try to give, it's like, why me? And I was like, why not me? What makes me so special? I'm lucky I have a car that hasn't been giving me problems that, you know, I can use. I'm glad I can wake up every day and be full of joy and be thankful for the things that I have. I'm lucky that I love my job and I love what I do. I mean, there are certain aspects I, you know, wish I didn't have to deal with, but it is what it is. It's part, it's part of teaching. And I love my job. So working to me and being at school until 9, 10 o'clock. So a lot of times I'm, you know, dilly-dallying. I'm just hanging out, really. And last night I was there at maybe 10, 15 yeah, as I was packing up my stuff. And it, somebody was like, Miss Basil? Because the theater department had, they're preparing for a play. So I think once or twice a month they stay until 10. I was like, and I called the other teacher. I was like, yes, you. You know, you did it there. I'm there. You doing what you're doing. I'm doing what I'm doing. So it's just like when things happen to you in life, it may not be ideal. And once again, my situation is not ideal for you. It's not ideal. I would love, you know, RE or schooly, but you can't be very stealth in that right now since I'm always local. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm traveling and I'm free and I'm just going place to place, that's a little more conducive. But that big, you know, something big is a little a little harder. But I promise you with everything, it is not bad. So I told another friend, you know, that I live in my car. She was like, I feel so bad. I feel sorry for you. Why? 
And like I said, it's part of the adventure and choice and part necessity because I have to. <laughs> and so I just like, it's not bad, but I'm still grateful and thankful that I am rich in so many other areas of my life. And it just is what it is. Maybe my situation will change. Maybe I'll get a chance to finally travel and see the world. But until I do, I'm not going to stop living my life until I get there. Because who knows, I may not. So I'm enjoying my life, well, my job and, you know, the, the flexibility now. I'm not going to walk around depressed because my bank account is not flowing over. I'm not going to walk around and take my attitude out um, on people at my job or whatever it is. I'm just going to continue to live in my truth and my joy and not be angry and frustrated because these are things that are not in my control at the moment. It is what it is. Maybe I make mistakes. I'm not perfect. I don't know. I'm quite sure I don't make all the right choices all the time. Okay. And I'm not perfect. And I'm just living my life the best way I can and trying to be and accepting it. It is what it is. And I refuse to be sad and depressed once again, and I know I keep saying it because this situation has been a choice and it is not ideal for you. It's not ideal for a lot of people, but passing judgment and saying, oh, she's a teacher. Why would you do that? Why would a teacher hit a kid? Why would a teacher constantly yell at children because they hate their job? Why is a teacher there and you're just a horrible teacher and, and, and everyone hates you? And it could be so many things. Why a teacher would molest a student or have an inappropriate relationship with a student, but they live in a glorious, glorious life. Okay, this is not ideal, but I love what I do. And I love my students. Sixth grade is where is that? I bet I would love fifth grade too. I would love fifth grade too. But I want you guys to know that I'm okay. And no matter what situation I've been through throughout my entire life, I've always found a way to rise like a phoenix and still be joyful. And I always go back to the pair of shoes that I have in the frame in a shadow box that I carry around with me. It's now in my classroom. And sometimes I tell the kids the story. I'm like, Miss Bassett, why you got shoes over there? Why you got shoes over there, Miss Bassett? And then sometimes I tell them the story. If I feel like I really have a connection with my students, I'll tell them the story. But it just reminds me of my inner strength and that we are all stronger than we really think and braver than you know because when you are faced with a situation let me tell you your strength will come out from somewhere you didn't know you had and that bravery and that coverage will come to the forefront honey just like I'll do whatever I can for my kids. So Sydney, she was like, mom, such and such and such. I said, don't worry about it. I'll fix it. I'll fix it, Sydney. <laughs> no matter how I fixed it, I fixed it. So I will always find a way to rise above hardship or I'll learn how to live within my situation and not be depressed about it and sad about it sometimes it gets to me you know the financial part but I'm like it is what it is I'll figure it out I'll find a way I will find a way and I always do it may not be you know glorious and glamorous I don't know many teachers who have multiple kids three or four kids who are single parents and you're not getting help don't have riches I don't know who many are living that 
glamorous life. Maybe they are, but I don't know how they do it. Just like I don't know how some teachers leave as soon as the bell rings at the end of the day. I don't know. I talked to another teacher um, one day. She was leaving. She said, I don't know how they do it. It's just like I always have stuff to do. And then I'm, I'm, he, I'm back here. I said, well, if you over there, I'm over here. <laughs> you can always stop bar and we can complain together. No, not complain. Because it doesn't feel like work to me. It really doesn't. So on a Saturday, I'm getting ready to go in this library. And they're going to be closing at 5. And then I go to Starbucks. And it's doing stuff that I want to do. Well, one of these things I got to do that I've been putting off. I should have done it this summer. But baby, ooh, Lord, just, Lord, just come down on me and let me get through it. It's the GT courses, child. Oh, they are boring. Oh, my God. All right, Joy, you can do it. Just focus on that. But get this video up first. You can do it. And don't edit another video, Joy. Just try to focus. Try to focus on what you have to do. Joy, listen. Listen, 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 listen. You can do this. And you, you can do it. All right, just say you're going to do it. You can, we can do it together. Just do it. Whatever it is you got to do, just mm, do it. You got this. We got this. Even if it's bad. Even if it's bad, you're going to be all right. I'm going to be, I know I'm going to be all right. Because I've been at the bottom. This could be at the bottom too, but I'm grateful I got a job. You know what I'm saying? But I've been at the bottom. And baby, you would never know I'm at the bottom. Why? I'm thinking of, I need more pearls. And I even sparkled today. I'm sparkling today again. Why? because I can and this hair needs to be done look at this look at this y'all look at this look at this look at that look at this. that's why I had to wear the, wear the hat got to twirl it around put it put it up underneath this hat okay who's gonna know nobody's gonna know nobody's gonna know and then I got some braids I got clips on it and stuff because I started braiding it at school where are my clips they in there somewhere I'm I'm braiding it. so just so it doesn't unravel won't unravel that much so but who's gonna know? Nobody's gonna know. Nobody's gonna know, okay? Nobody's gonna know. Nobody's gonna know. Nobody's gonna know, okay? <laughs> and so, you can go through life and just be angry all the time, but that takes a lot of energy. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather live my life with joy even if I'm down in the dumps. But I am okay. And I've never been forgotten. And I always rise like a phoenix. Thank God I still got my front teeth. Ooh, back teeth gone. They gone, y'all. But the front teeth, they bad. <laughs> I can still smile and bring joy to people. And I feel as though that's what I've been put on earth to do. Maybe not to be financially successful, but the spirit of joy really is within me. And I love that. My, oh, my mom did the right thing by naming me Joy. Mm, 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 mm. She did the right thing because I feel like joy. So as long as I'm able to bring... Oh, this is making... Oh, oh. And I don't even have my period. Oh, that made me emotional. As long as I'm able to bring joy and smiles to faces I know I'm doing what I'm supposed to do on earth no matter where I live no matter how poor and broke I am I will always be rich with the spirit of joy in my soul and if people feel as though I am not for them or they don't like me okay everybody's not gonna like me everyone's not gonna like you and that's okay that's okay. So, I don't know. Now I feel like I'm rambling. Well, if you're still here, thank you for watching and hanging out with me. As I go in here and edit this video, I'm going to do the GT stuff. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Joy, you got to do it. Oh, Lord, Lord, please, please. If you don't have to have medicine. Please, please, please let me focus. Okay. Have a blessed day and whoosha, whoosha, whoosha. That's a little bit of joy coming your way. 
little bit of love, a little bit of energy, because you are love, you are an amazing person, You, even if you've done somebody wrong, you know, in your heart, you regret it, say sorry, just say sorry, you know that you will come out of your situation, you will, that pain, I promise you, will dissipate, it will eventually go away, I remember losing my mother, I thought I would never survive, you do, you will, you always think about them, but the pain is not as intense. You hear me? Trust me, I know. I lost my mother, my father, my brother, my sister. The pain is not as intense, and it will subside with time. It will. I can promise you that, because I remember the pain at day one, day 20, day 30, Intense. I couldn't even function. For three years, I was jacked up. Three. Three. Now, it doesn't take most people that, that much. But now, it's been a while, but it's it's not as intense. Some days, I don't even think about it. I don't. You know, I'm just going on with life. But then it could be a trigger. I can see something or whatever. I'm like, oh, I miss my mom. So I just wrote a poem. Um, at school, all the kids wrote it as a template, and I would like to share with you. Y'all gonna listen to it, but I, I love the poem, and I'm teaching the kids that the poem should touch your soul, whatever they wrote. And so it really triggered, it really brought up another trigger. So I've been thinking about my mom more, or if I feel like you know that love that you don't get from anyone besides a mom or a dad, whatever. But for me, it was my mom, and so. Let me go. Ooh. Mm. Baby. Let me get up out of here. Okay? Let me get up out of here. Because there are no clouds that's going to cloud my spirit today. Oh, okay. Last thing, last thing. So I was walking. Well, I mean, ooh, I've been on here a minute. My phone probably about to blow up. So I was walking to a teacher's classroom. And then she opened her door. She was like, yes. I was like, mm-mm. Mm-mm. I, I'll come back to you later. And she was like, no, Basil, no. No, back, come back. I said, mm-mm, not with that attitude. No thanks. Let me tell you, if your attitude is stank, I, I promise you, I avoid it. I'm not interested. I'm not interested in being around any dark clouds. I'm not, especially when I know I got to be, you know, up there for my kids when they come down the hall, when the bell rings, because I have duty in the morning, and that's when they first come in, and boy, the smiles on their faces, like they look forward to it, and one day, I was running a little late, and then I saw the, a little girl later, she was like, I didn't see you today, I, I didn't see you, you wasn't there, <laughs> so it lets me know, I do affect many of the children maybe not all of them they probably like oh god we get this energy and then one boy is like mm, your outfit today is giving mm, mm. the 30s or 40s or 60s yeah it's giving mm -hmm. and then i had sparkles from top to bottom one day he's like mm, it's giving michael jackson mm. <laughs> and then another outfit um one of my students he's like miss mm, basil your outfit is giving a preacher a preacher who slays <laughs> oh my gosh oh my gosh I can't tell you how much I love them they are so awesome sixth grade I'm even thinking fifth grade would be even better baby we will have we will be a fool up in a class oh my gosh just love it love it love it love it love it all right I love you thank you for being here thank you for listening and thank you for being part of my family and listening to me hitting the like button you know sometimes it's not a lot but i appreciate every view i appreciate you guys so much thank you until next time later